so guys now Austin Holman is calling <laughs> Zambian women ugly it was a bounce back from Zambia guys. because you guys know you guys can pretty much see that Zambia was pretty much just hired for the video and I'm glad you guys can tell that some of y'all 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 get the whole Zambia situation there wasn't a lot of beautiful women in Zambia like that I have been watching, I have watched this uh, clip for like maybe, I don't know, maybe 10, 20 times. And every time I watch it, I just laugh because you could see how bitter he is. And you could see like, it's so comedic to me. It's cartoonishly comedic to me because you could see the hurt and you could see that he's lying when he says you know they are uh, ugly i mean it's obvious that he's lying it's obvious he's saying that to to you know to protect his ego uh, to because he does like he got rejected by a whole country of women and he is trying to like you know no no, no i didn't get rejected i just didn't you know they just not were not uh, beauty enough for me so you could see it you could see it from his like he knows he's lying he knows he's using some kind of immature defense and mechanism. Um, it is so, <laughs> for me it is funny because look at his, uh, his, the way his hand moves. Like you could see like he, even without, you know, hearing the, um, his voice with even with, with the volume being muted, you could see that he's lying. Like this guy is, uh, is so bitter. He's still bitter. It is almost like you know, a week since he came back from um, from Zambia and he still mentions the, those Zambian women. And for me, it is so funny. It is funny and like, uh, it's so funny to me. It's funny, especially when I watch him saying that they were angry, ugly. I'm like, you went to all the way to their country and now they are all of a the sudden they are ugly just because they reject you they they went from you know being beautiful to ugly <laughs> and it is i mean this guy's ego is so fragile i'm telling you guys I, I i have never seen a person with such a fragile ego like this guy and <laughs> in a way though um, i'm glad he put this on because it it, prob it gave me so much entertainment watching this guy and like it is it's funny to me it's you know it's like you know when um, like men they compliment you but when you don't take the compliment they're like ah, you're not that 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 good looking anyways like that is how this looks it is so it's so it it's like you know it's bitter there's a lot of bitterness uh, there is a lot of ego, hurt ego because women rejected him. And I really think that the fact that the women that rejected him are black, the fact that the women that rejected him are African hurt him more, I think. I think because remember, where black men like um, Austin Holm uh, think we black women should be grateful for them for dating us like when there are a lot of black i, I you know i live here in los angeles and um, like um, black men uh, will let you know like the ones that are supposed to be you know pro-black the ones that only date uh, black women uh, they will let you know one way or another that you should be grateful that they they find you attractive like so Austin Holman probably thinks Zambian women should be grateful for him for flying, you know, uh, two hours to to meet them, to you know, to date them, and because they are black women, the fact that they were not grateful, the fact that they were not flattered, the fact that they rejected him, hurt him. It hurt him more than. Uh, it would have been if he was rejected by non-black women, if he was rejected by Brazilian women, if he was rejected by white women, he probably would have felt, um, he would have been hurt less. It would have hurt him less if non-black women have rejected him. But the fact that black women he, he looks down on rejected him probably hurt him more. Mm, that being said, you know, so that's what I wanted to say about this. And, you know, uh, 
in that video he ta he talks about you know banning music da -da -da -da. Uh, and that you know i'm gonna talk about that in a different video but that for me is come from the same um, mindset that looks down on black people that looks down on you know black women black people because i don't think he, uh, uh, i mean he was in uh, brazil for all of, like three months he was not demanding brazil ban this or ban that because um he doesn't feel like you know he doesn't feel in brazil the same way he he feels in africa i think in africa he feels like you know he is doing us a favor being there so um but i'm gonna make a, a whole new video of, on on that subject um, yeah, but i truly enjoyed watching him uh the bitterness watching him um call the uh, Zambian women ugly because they rejected him and we know that if they had agreed to go out with him he probably would have claimed they were one of the most beautiful uh, women alive so uh, so that's what i wanted to say okay so um i am recording outside and someone came and parked their um, motorcycle so you could hear it from the background but um, if you like my videos, please uh, re really like them because I have Austin Holman supporters uh, coming and um, downvoting my videos. So the likes are usually like, you know, the 56 percent, you know, 60 percent, like uh, numbers like that. So I want to get the like a little bit up. So if you like my videos, please truly like them and, and leave a comment uh, I, I enjoyed reading all the, all the comments even the ones from Austin Holman supporters thank you it was a bounce back from Zambia because you guys know you guys can pretty much see that Zambia was pretty much just hired for the video and I'm glad you guys can tell that some of y'all 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 get the whole Zambia situation there wasn't a lot of beautiful women in Zambia like that